What's up, Cal Gang? All right, welcome back to the statics problem. So what we're trying to find is the moment of inertia around the y-axis for this shape here. So we have this shape and there's a circle cut out in the center and let's just try to figure it out right now. So if we're finding the moment of inertia around the y-axis, uh, there's a formula we're gonna use and I'm gonna write it down. So y, not y, why am I doing this? Moment of inertia around the y, so i of y is equal to uh, this given moment of inertia around the y plus a distance in the x squared. So let's go through and figure out each one of these for each one of the shapes. So the first thing we wanna do is we have this complex shape. It's gonna be hard to find each one of these for this complex shape, so we wanna break it down into three shapes. So what three shapes are we gonna choose, right? Uh, well, how about, how about we put a line here? So this is a triangle, so we know that this is gonna be one of our shapes. And then we have this square here, so this is another one of our shapes. And then this circle here, uh, this circle is also going to be one of our shapes, but it's blank space, so we're going to have to subtract that from our moment of inertia, basically. So let's go ahead and solve now. So we're going to do it in three parts, right, for each of the three shapes. So let's do the rectangle first, or the, yeah, the rectangle. So here's our rectangle. Uh, it's height, so let's see, so let's see, it's uh, length is 260, right, and then its height is 400. So this is what we're doing, and let's use this formula. So I have y, and we're gonna label this one. So when you're doing a rectangle, this i bar is gonna be equal to one over 12 uh, base, uh, so it's gonna be height times base squared. Kind of be confusing. So this is a formula you can find in the back of the book or on Google, and this is something you should maybe not memorize, but have on hand when you're solving these kind of problems. So height times base cubed, I meant. And then plus area, so for a rectangle, it's just gonna be base times height and then distance in the x squared. So this distance in the x is the distance away from the y-axis from the center of mass. So we know that this square has a rectangle, or this rectangle has a center of mass at its center. So it's gonna be how far that is from the center of mass to the y-axis. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. So one over 12, so its height is 400. Its base is 260, and then cube that. And we're gonna add it to its base, so you know, whatever, 260 times height, 400, and then distance in the x. So its center of mass is halfway across, so it's 130 millimeters across, and that's how far it is from the y-axis. Distance in the x, 130 millimeters. So 130, square that. Uh -huh. That looks right, okay, so. I'm gonna write it over here. I x or I of y of one is equal to 2.34 times 10 to the ninth millimeters to the fourth. All right, so we're gonna add that. So then let's go to our next shape. So our next shape is the circle. So we're in the circle, and we know its radius is 75, right? So that's how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna do this again. So I, Y of two this time is equal to, so when you're doing a circle, the equation for a circle is one over four pi radius to the fourth. This is I bar here, one over four pi radius to the fourth. And then we're gonna add area, so area of the circle is pi radius squared, and then distance in the X squared. Perfect, so let's plug in our numbers. So one over four pi radius 75 to the fourth plus pi 75 squared and the distance in the x, right? So we're doing the same thing here. The center of mass of this circle is gonna be right at the center. And we know that its center is 130, or 130 millimeters away from the y-axis. So this is just gonna be 130 again, squared. So I uh, think sure I did this right, I did do it right. So plug this into your calculator. You're gonna get that i, y of two is equal to, uh, let's see, so it's 3.23 times 10 to the eighth to the fourth. All right, so now we just have one shape left. The last shape is this triangle. So let's do the triangle. So a triangle, right? So we know that its base is 200, its height is 400, and we don't need its hypotenuse really for this question. Uh, but we know that its center of mass on the x is a third of the way across. So its center of mass, this distance, right? This is 66.7, a uh, third of 200. So it's gonna become useful later. 
Uh, all right, so let's uh, go ahead and plug this in. So when you're doing a triangle now, so the equation for I bar for a triangle, uh, make sure you look this up, 1 over 36 height base cubed. All right, similar to the rectangle, but just uh, like you know, divided by basically. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do the area. So the area, of course, is 1 half base times height and then distance in the x squared. So plug in our numbers here, so 1 over 36, the height of our thing is 400, the base is 200 cubed, and make sure that it's going away, make sure you get your height and base right, and then 1 half, base is 200, height is 400, the distance of the x right, so this might be a little bit harder. So for our shape here, we have 133 plus 133, so we're this far away from the y, or the y axis already. And then, like we said, the center of mass is the third of the way across. So this is the distance we're covering, is from here to here. So it's going to be 130 plus 130 plus a third of 200. So a third of 200 is that, so it's going to be 260 plus 66.7. And then make sure to square that. I'll cue that. All right, so make sure I got everything here. Uh, looks like I did. So then you do the math on this. I y of three is equal to 4.36 times 10 to the ninth. So finally we got our three numbers. And of course, usually you just add these three numbers together to get your total. But in this case, the circle is what we're going to need to subtract because the cir sub circle is taking out area. It's taking out inertia, basically. So our equation, i, y, is equal to i of 1, i, y of 1, minus i, y of 2, plus i, y of 3. So just put in those numbers for that, and you're going to get i of y. Our final answer is equal to 6.38 times 10 to the ninth millimeters to the fourth. There you go, so that's your final answer. So this question is kind of a lot of work, but it's just about learning where to find the formulas and how to use it. And ultimately, it's not that much harder than anything else we've done in this class. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.